Morning people, vlog time. Um, I'm on the Not Say A book fishing. I'm on a place called Number One Lagoon, which is uh, in near Long Eaton, and it's part of the At Attenborough complex. Um, it's a big place. I got here yesterday, but I didn't do any filming because. You can see it is absolutely massive. This is Lagoon 1. And then straight through that gap there is Lagoon 2. And then through the next gap is Lagoon 3. And then that goes on to the other lakes. It's just ginormous. It's absolutely massive, this place is. Yeah, like I said, I got here yesterday, but I had a bit of an hiccup yesterday. Um, I came out a look at the place in the morning come and had a look at the place I thought yeah I fancy this went home, sorted my stuff out because I've got my stuff packed for the river so I sorted my carp fishing gear out packed the van, drove here it took me about three quarters of an hour got here, got all my stuff out and then realised like a numpty I'd left my fucking bivvy pegs in my, other, in my one man because I've got the two man with me like so I had to drive all the way back to Mansfield and then all the way back so the, by the time I got back it was about half six 20 to 7 at night I didn't even get my rods in the water last night till about 10 o'clock and all I did last night was I had a quick plumb around with a marker like run out of time really so what I've done is I've put one rod down here in about 11 foot of water a handful of boilers. I've put another one out there, a little bit further out. That's had an handful of boilers. And then about 40 yards out, where it's about 13 foot deep, I put a couple of handfuls spread about. And that's all I did for last night. Because, um, like I say, it's just a nightmare with me, with me forgetting them bivy pegs. But it's time is it now it's about quarter past 20 past four in the morning i went to i didn't go to bed till about half 11. i had a burger and a beer at 11 o'clock last night and then i slept till about three o'clock and then the dog got up and i had to take the dog to the toilet so i've been awake since then i've been watching the water and so far i ain't seen nothing apart from when i walked the dog last night there's a lot of pike activity around here the only place i thought i saw carp yesterday was right up here on this point over here but I'm not 100% sure but like I say I've plumbed it up and it's about 9 foot at the end of my rods down here so I've got my pod in the water a little bit past my rods it's about 9 foot then it goes to about 11 foot then it's 11 foot for so far out and then it's 13 foot and then it's 13 foot for quite a way out and as you get to the middle it drops to 15 foot and it goes 15 foot for about three quarters of the way out and then it hits about 11 foot that's as far as I got with Mark yesterday so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these rods out for another couple of hours and just keep watching the water to see if I see anything if I don't see anything I'm going to take these rods out tie some leaders on some fluorocarbon leaders and uh, get my marker out and get some bait out and then get my rods on the bait a big place like this I think I'm just better off finding a decent spot that I can get my three rods on and just getting some bait and sit and wait approach I think I mean failing that I can always take one of my rods off and put a bag and try and cast a bag right over the other side into, into the margins under one of these bushes I'd say it's probably about 100 yards over there, I would say. So that's why I'm going to put leaders on, fluorocarbon leaders on, just in case I need to cast further. So just putting my uh, lead core leader on straight to my main line. I'm, just going, to, I'm going to put uh, fluorocarbon leaders on and then uh, some rig tubing, I think. So I can cast a bit, bit further out. Right, I'm going to make myself another coffee, watch the water, and then I'll uh, 
catch up with you a bit later on folks. Okay, okay, okay. Blog time people. It's Sunday night, it's about uh I think it's about quarter to eight, eight o'clock. It has been roasting all day. So only just starting to cool off now. Um all my rods are out. Sky, shush. Sky, go on back up there. Go on back up there. Go on, on your bed. On your bed. On your bed. Go on, up. Up. Lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Bloody mallard. Uh, coots fighting in the water down here. I've been at it all day. I oh, know it isn't, it's a pigeon look. I don't know if you've caught that. The pigeons, I thought it was the coots. But like I said, I've got all three rods out here. Uh, 11 wraps. I've got one on a chod in the middle. Um, with a crave washed out pink 15mm pop up on. On a short chod, about inch and a half. My right hand rod. That's on a uh, uh, ESP tungsten loaded, semi stiff uplink with a size 5 Fox beat point hook with a 15mm. Dynamite, squid and spice, bottom bait with a pink, washed out pink, dumbbell, crave wafter on the top, and then on the other rod, this rod that's out here, I've got a 15mm bottom bait with which is Crave with a small 12mm Nash garlic uh, squid and liver popple which has been coated in Crave liquid but earlier on two or three times today there's been fish over my spot because I've had slicks coming up that's happened three or four times today, so the fish have been there. The fish have definitely been there three or four times today. Um, and I think I've just seen a carp show right the way over there. That's the first one I've seen, proper carp show that is. For me to get over there though, it's about 130 yards. Which I can get there, but not very accurately because well, it's a push for me to get there really because of my leg, my legs hurting me a little bit. And if I want to get over there, it means I've got a proper back putting a uh, leader on, um, which I didn't end up putting on because I'm only fishing out there, so I've just got my main line and then the uh, lead core leaders. So, and then I've put out half a bucket this morning and then I've put out about another 10 spawns over the area. I've rested it both times that I've spawned out. I've spawned a load of gear out and then basically I've left it for about an hour and a half before I've put my rods in. And I've put my rods in with the lightest leads I can get away with. I've got two ants on them all. Um, cut the disturbance down, but I'm about 12 and a half, 13 foot of water, which like I say is different to around it, it's a lot deeper the other side of where I am, and then this side, it goes, it seems to go a little bit deeper again, then it seems to come up, and then like I say it's about 11 foot just past the end of my rod tips, I think it's pretty much the same over the other side. I was talking to a bloke earlier on who, who was a sea fisherman and uh, he was telling me I can remember when it was dug. I've had a nice day today, I've met no end of different people down here. Um, 
Perhaps I've enjoyed it, it's been alright. This is on, like I say, Lagoon 1 on the Not Say A, but Sky's had a good day as well, ain't you, Sky? There she looks, she's conked out, look, from all the sun. I'll take that umbrella down in a bit. Right. I think that'll do for now, people. Uh, obviously, I'll update you if I have any fish through the night, so... Fingers crossed. Well, I'll be buzzing if I do. Um, I think I've done best thing in that 13 foot water. That's the more or less the shallowest piece of water I can find out there. So uh, there's definitely been fish on there today. So I just have to wait and see. That's all I can do. Um, failing that, the only thing I can do is put zigs on over that area or put a couple of zigs on and leave one on the bottom and failing that it's going right the way over to that other side but to be getting bags all the way over there accurately I don't think it's the one by the time I've prattled about tying a leader on and stuff things can go wrong and trying to cast back over there at night it's just a nightmare with my foot being the way it is if my foot was a bit better then uh, I probably would do but we'll see anyway Right, waffling shit again now. So uh, I'm going to go and get a beer. Just chill out and watch the water till it gets dark and then go to bed because uh, well, I might stay up an hour after dark like I did last night to see if I can hear anything. Uh, but that's my first proper show I've seen over there anyway. So oh, I've just seen a fish's tail just out here off my right hand rod just off the right hand rod so they're definitely about whether it's carp or bream I don't know but anyway I'm catching a bit of people <sighs> scared me top of the morning to you people it's about what time is it now I don't know half nine quarter to ten um, I went to bed last night about half eleven and I slept through till seven o'clock this morning quarter to seven this morning nothing not a bleep off the rods not a bleep but over the spot again about 15 minutes ago I've had some slicks coming up again so there's fish down there again like there was yesterday but what they are I don't know they could be just small fish could be just uh, skimmers or roach could even be pike passing over uh, so I don't know but I've sat and tied I've sat and tied a couple of zigs tied one at 12 foot and one about nine and a half foot so I'm going to put both zigs out put one zig out on my left hand rod one zig out on my right hand rod and then I'm going to leave my chod in the middle the short chod that I've got out there and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the rods out take the dog for another walk and then get them rods back in and then spod that other quarter of a bucket what I've got left just add a bit more water to it with a bit more oil just to make it more sloppy and then get the rest of that spotted out over the top and then just sit on it the rest of the day and see what happens and then I'll mix some more spod up spod mix up but what I've done is sat and tied a couple of uh, like I say, zigs up. I've used Drennan double strength in ten pound, and then uh, using a quarter size eight chody. I'm using them Fox zig liner liners, which are absolutely brilliant. Anybody who's never used them, you want to get on them because they're absolutely wicked. You get a little tool as well for putting your foam through and that properly. They're a bit fiddly to start off with to get used to. Once you've got used to tying them, they're a doddle. I've got one out with a black zigger liner on my black foam, then I've got one out with red zigger liner and black foam. And then all I've done at the other end is tied a big figure of eight loop 
to help push the rig out more and also I've got an anti-tangle sleeve on but I'm not going to bother taking my leaders off, my lead core leaders because I've only got short lead core leaders on anyway they're only, they're only they're less than a metre in length anyway so I'll just cast out with them what I'll probably do in a bit is when I cast them out I'll put the camera on just to see me casting them out but Apart from that, I haven't really seen anything. Apart from that, what I thought I saw last night over there, which looked like a car. Apart from that, I haven't, I haven't seen anything. I've seen plenty of roach, milling about, and pike in the margins. But with it being such a deep water and such a big water, um, you know, it's it's not an easy task. Even though I'm on here for like four days, three, four days, it's still not an easy thing to do. All I can do is try. You know, the only other thing after me trying that that I can do is go right the way over to the far side, which, like I say, is about 110 yards, 120 yards. But with my foot being the way it is, I don't really fancy that one. So. Right, I'm going to sign off for that, people. And then I'll give you an update in a bit. Okay. Adios.